Welcome to the Folk DC video series about Audacity, the free cross-platform audio editor. In this episode, we look at how to achieve the final result of our audio editing. Files that can be played on web pages, files you can send to your friends or listen to on audio devices. Audio can be rendered to files of many different formats the two most important of which are WAV and MP3 files. WAV files contain uncompressed audio and therefore WAV files are much bigger than MP3 files which contain compressed audio. Compression reduces the accuracy of sound which is why MP3 is called a lossy audio file format. Still the quality of MP3 files can be very high and MP3 is a very popular file format. I first want to produce a WAV file. I open my project and go to File Export. I select the WAV format, enter a name for my file and click OK. Another window pops up and prompts me to enter metadata for my file such as artist name, track title, album, etc. Support for the display of metadata is poor in WAV files, but very good in MP3 files. Since I'm saving a WAV file, I leave everything empty and hit OK. Voila! Here is my file. Let's go back to save our work as an MP3 file. Again, we enter a name and select MP3 as our file format. If you're an experienced user, you may want to set options for your file. I'm happy with these settings and proceed to enter artist name, track title, album, etc. And click OK. Look what's happening here. Audacity asks me to locate LAME. LAME is a library needed to produce MP3 files and because of software patents Audacity can't include LAME in its installation file so I have to install LAME myself. LAME is as free as Audacity so I just press the download button to surf to that web page and download the LAME library. Of course you find LAME with search engines too. Attention, there's quite a bit of advertising going on on this page so take care to find the right link for downloading LAME. Download the .exe file and run it. Follow the installation dialog and return to Audacity after finishing it. Now we are able to locate LAME and connect it to Audacity. Please note that you have to follow this procedure only the first time you export your audio to an MP3 file. I click OK and my file is rendered. Here it is. I open it with iTunes and look. Here are title, artist name and album just as I entered those items to the metadata section of the export dialog. And look here on my smartphone playing the file. Fine. Thanks for watching this video. Good luck with creating editing and saving audio with Audacity. For further information about our project, please visit this website. Bye!